Welcome Aries, we're going to be looking at um, actually making an inquiry, okay, so asking spirit maybe for some information um, for you right now, okay, so we'll be using the inquiry cards of Work Your Light Oracle, and what else are we using here, the Mystical Healing cards, and Osho Zen Tarot as well. Alrighty, let's get into it here. Okay, so we'll start with Work Your Light Oracle cards. One card for Aries, please. One card for Aries. One card for Aries. Is it gonna? There it is. Of course, it flung on the floor. Hang on, Aries. Okay, so we have Priestess. So, Aries. How are you being called to step up and lead? Interesting. I feel like for some of you, this is a chance to spread your wings. Um, maybe to kind of um, take off the, the veil that you have been using to hide behind, potentially. Um, yeah. Yeah, this is interesting. I just want to get this ready so at the end I can just grab it. Where are we? 52. Alrighty. Okay, but let's look further into this. Give me three cards for Priestess. <clears throat> for Aries, please. How are you being called to step up and lead? Three cards for a priestess for Aries, please. Three cards for Aries. Aries. Three cards. Talent. Contemplate death and beyond. Okay. I kind of feel like part of this is you tapping into your inner knowing, awakening your vulnerability, tapping into your inner knowing because this card here, this person is holding the key, right? And I feel like sometimes we can believe that it's a um, something like the key is something external from us, but the key is actually internal. So maybe this is how you're being asked to um, lead the way by tapping within you. Tapping to what is within you. But anyway, one more card for Aries, please. Interesting. That's very, very specific about getting the right cards for you here today. Love your body. Okay, okay. So, yeah. <coughs> I kind of feel like Aries. <sighs> this is what I'm getting here, right? is that with this contemplate death and beyond, it's like you actually are, um, I feel, being called to understand what this journey here on earth actually entails and the fact of your soul um, being always in existence, whether you have a body to move around the earth plane in or not. It's it's like actually maybe really looking into that, okay? Um, 
And with this card here, yeah, actually, no, I don't want to go into that card. I feel like I want to stick to this first. More cards. Can you tell me more about Contemplate Death and Beyond? Four Aries in relation to the Priestess, please. Um, yeah, there's, um, there seems to be, for some of you, a bit of a cutoff point of understanding that you are... Um, this eternal soul that lives on the earth plane. Um, yeah, there's something, there's something that isn't, um, it isn't clicking for some of you right now, okay? Um, it, it, yeah, because there's, there's, for some of you, there's this, um, this battle in your mind. There's this constant um, repetitiveness of um, garbage, I suppose, going on in your mind, and it's actually um, stopping you from being able to step up and lead, uh, and what this is calling for you to do is to step into this nothingness, it's like, you know how, um, <clears throat> and I, sorry, Aries, my throat, sometimes it's the case that, um, you know, I probably mentioned on this channel before about meditating and going into the silence, right? Um, and that's what the no thingness is. It, it's the stillness. Sometimes it can be easier for people to go into the stillness rather than try and silence the mind because the mind can play up bobsy die when we try and do that, okay? Um, and and that requires trust, okay? That require, require it requires trust in ourselves. And um, and also that we're going to be safe when we're doing that. So this is something that I feel like you need to practice because right now the mind is so in control and it's um, polluting uh, your existence, I feel, okay? And I feel like by doing that, um, you are going to be able to then fill up what it is that you want in your cup so that... Um, you are going to be able to bring in the people who you need to work with um, to fulfill what it is that you are here to do because it's more than just go to work every day, you know, um, come home, take care of the family or do the housework or whatever it is that you do. You know, just, just it's like this, um, it's like a mechanical bull going back and forth doing the same old thing and it's just... Um, you know, something that I feel is it needs to be queried by you, okay? Because looking at this contemplate death and beyond, it's kind of like, you know, there is so much more than just what we see in front of us, than just what goes on here. And so this is where, you know, this stillness is where you can actually sit in and contemplate what all that looks like, okay? What your soul, where it came from, the existence of it uh, is much more than just this lifetime, okay? Now we have awakened your vulnerability. And this is kind of what I was saying before, where I feel like some of you are a bit split. Did I say that or did I just think it? I think I said it. But here's the thing, Aries, is that we do come here and we kind of put on these masks and we all behave in certain ways. It's like we're just really living in an ongoing play and we play different characters in different areas of our lives. And as we go through our lives, we become different characters. And it could be that, you know, 10 years ago you were one character and, you know, you were you were in this play with other characters, you know, and I'm talking here. Let me just really make this clear for you. I'm talking here, for example, at work. Okay, you may go to work and you may say be, um, what could you do? For you? you could be the IT person, right, for example. And, um, you know, at the beginning of your career or whatever, and you're the newbie there. And um, there you are learning the ropes and learning how to do everything, how to program what it is that you need to program and, how everything works and how the systems and the and the database works there, right? And then you graduate up to 
another position within that you know and that then you are stepping into another role or you know you are then another character and then you go into another position and then you become the boss or you you know branch out on your own these are all different roles that we play in our life right you know even the role of a, a mother and a father and um you know and then you step in you come out of that you step into the role at work and then you step into a different role when you're with your friends and there's all of these different roles that we play and that changes as we go through life um and the interesting thing here Aries is that I feel like for some of you um it's almost as though you don't have, or you, you don't feel you have the control of where you're headed. Um, and I kind of wonder if, in a sense, this is something or a power that you may have given away to others, okay? without even realizing it, without meaning to. Um, yeah. And it just feels like everything else has been controlled and you're just kind of like a pawn in the in the in the whole scheme of it. Um, and yeah, it, it's yeah, it's so hard to explain. It's like you're a puppet on a string for everyone else to do what they will with you and you're not having a say as to exactly the direction of how things are going right now. Okay, understand, Aries, that it is up to you to t regain that power back and take control for yourself, okay? This is the first cards that jumped up here were the lovers and sorrow, so I just wonder if there's is something in a relationship where um, you're not feeling like you're in control of things um, or in control of your own life. Okay, so it's really important to take your power back. Um, the other, uh, the other um, card that popped up here was integration. And I, yeah, yeah, I see. Some of you feel like you've lost parts of yourself. You don't know who you are anymore. And, um, and it's time to call those back. It's time to reclaim those. It's time to remember who you are and discover who you are, okay? And how do you do that? You go into the stillness, okay? And you trust what you get, okay? And when you're in that stillness, all right? Because we have um, this burden here, the burden here of other people directing your life and what, what should be happening and where you should be going. And, um, and that's not up to them to do. Um, but always Aries, make sure you take responsibility for your role in that, okay? Because if, if there are people doing that, at some point we actually created the space to allow them to step in and do that because that was the energy match that was going on at that time. So some of you may have outgrown that now and um, you may be ready to turn in another direction, all right? Um, so if that's the case, you know, go on that adventure, right? Call call back that inner child, call back that, that excitement, the passion, you know, ignite that again, Aries, and let that lead the way for you, okay? So that you can start to gain control over the direction of your life, all right? Um, yeah, yeah. You know, this is this is about you using your inner voice to complete this part, this cycle, okay, so that you can step into another role. But I feel like it's not even really another role here, Aries. I feel as though it's more um, for you to not step into a role. It's for you to let the veil down right, like I was talking about here, to let the veil down, to let your true self step forth. Because there's been some, not resistance, uh, but I guess the allowance of um, other people coming in to do that for you, rather than you taking charge of doing that for you excuse me, for yourself, okay, 
and we come to love your body here and with this card here um it's really interesting because both on both these cards here the legs are really jumping out to me um and it's kind of like mapping out your own your own path your own journey walking it's not just about walking your own path though um love your body it's about kind of like consciously making your footprints count um or, or letting them make an imprint on the earth to such a degree that your path will always be known not just you know here's the thing Aries you're not just a um just another human who's come to visit you the earth you're you you're Aries right and I feel like there's this need for you to own that and part of that is you loving who you are because you you are the spiritual being having this human experience, right? Really loving the body so that as the vehicle that it is to carry you through this lifetime, it's it's really about taking care of that vehicle. It's like having a car. You're not going to let it, you know, you're going to fill it up with petrol. You're going to check the water. You're going to check the oil. You're going to do all these things for it, right? So it's, it's looking at what am I doing for my body to take care of it so that it can carry me through this lifetime for as long as it possibly can without me destroying it, right? Without me destroying it here or putting up armor to protect it um, or, you know, letting other people use my vessel as their vehicle so theirs remains untouched, right? Um so that you can actually start to travel um, with purpose. Um, and yeah, because there's... For this to come up in this message, I feel like this is important for you to um, make sure that you take as much care of yourself as possible in order for you to achieve what it is you need to achieve. Okay, we've got exhaustion here. Um, and we've got courage here. See, here's the thing, right? It's kind of like, I know that some of you may be feeling very exhausted with life right now, and it's kind of like the seed here has popped up between these rocks, and it's sort of like that's where you were planted, or that's where you planted yourself in between the rocks, rather than in a, in a, um, in a flower bed with, other flowers that are the same, getting the nutrients that you need, getting everything that you need. I have a feeling that this is how some of you feel, like you're the, just there on your own, struggling to get just to see the light right now. And um, yeah, that's that's really, that's, that's hard. That's really, really hard. But there is a purpose for you here, Aries. Okay. Um, we also have, yeah, see, this is you suppressing the... Um, the things that you don't want to see, I feel, okay, suppressing all the things that maybe even people have done to you, um, the way they've deceived you, uh, this could even be you deceiving yourself, okay, this is not wanting to see, putting on a, putting on a happy face for the world, when really inside, you know, it's actually this that's going on behind closed doors, yeah, okay, and by doing that though, you're actually hiding your treasure that lays within you, Aries. Okay, so this is what is important for you to allow to um, out to give to the world. Okay, and that is where the success comes in. Okay, you will have its success when you do that, when you allow the veil to drop down and your authentic self to step forward. You will travel successfully. Okay, so that's those messages. Let's have a look what the priestess card says. How are you being called to step up and lead? The priestess is a teacher dedicated to service, freedom and leadership. You don't need to have it all together to lead. In fact, 
if it helps. Oh, sorry. In fact, it helps if you don't. No one wants a perfect angel who hasn't made any mistakes. Let your life be your message. Don't underestimate. Sorry, let me hold this up as I'm talking. Don't underestimate the power of sharing your story. It's by hearing someone else's journey that we feel less alone. Yes. We realize that we are actually in this thing called life together. The difference between a follower and a leader is that a leader has the courage to go first. In stepping out, they shine a light on the path for others to venture forward to. Don't fret too much about trying to work out who is your tribe. Don't get stuck in age, income, hobbies or occupation. The best way to discover your tribe is to look in the mirror. Yeah, just like this, right? Look in the mirror here, right? Date yourself for a bit, Aries. If you feel called to lead, chances are it is because at some point in your life you longed for someone to lead you. Your tribe are longing for exactly the same thing as you were and are and might only be one step behind you. Hell, they might even be right alongside you. You don't need anyone's permission, just the courage to stand up, right? Embrace your struggles, the peaks, the troughs. You don't need to know the way, just believe that there might be a different one. Your tribe is waiting for you. Step forward so they can find you. Yeah, Aries, step forward from behind the wall there, you know. Time to let your guard down, right? Okay, and it says, work your light inquiry. How are you being called to step up and lead? How can you be the leader you wish you had? And that right there, Aries, is where, um, you know, you need to really ponder on during the next couple of weeks. Really ask yourself that question. Get out a pen and paper and start writing. Write. Sorry, let me read that again. Because that, that was powerful, man. I, I really love that. How can you be the leader you wish you had? Awesome. That's so awesome. Yeah. Anyway, Aries, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.